And in the culture war segment tonight, a controversy has erupted in South Carolina over the new faith-based license plates with the words, I believe in the image of a cross on them. A humanist pastor and a rabbi are among a group suing to stop the DMV from going forward with these plates. They call the move the government endorsing Christianity. With us now to explore this is Reverend Barry Lynn, the executive director of Americans United for the Separation of Church and State, which filed the lawsuit. Barry, haven't seen you in a while. Good no, to see you. Good to be back. Why can't you leave these poor people alone, Barry? I mean, these people just want to drive around <laughs> oh, in their GM car and have a little license plate that says, I believe, little cross on it. How does it hurt you or force you to go to church? You know, the interesting thing, it doesn't force me to go to church. I go to church voluntarily. And the interesting thing is, of course, that voluntarily, all these po folks in South Carolina who share my Christian faith could have put bumper stickers on, decals on, long before the legislature of South Carolina decided that it was going to do for Christianity, something it's done for no other religion. There are hundreds of religions in South Carolina, and that is an official, we're going to design it, we're going to approve it, and now we're even going to market it. They have to market these license plates. It doesn't do that for any other religious group. But it certainly doesn't um, have the effect of establishing a state religion, which you know the framers, that's what they were focusing on no, with they the establishment clause. You think, you think the framers, you think James Madison and Alexander Hamilton would sit there going, well, if that buggy had a sign on it that said, you know, I believe, with a cross on it, you think they would think the Constitution was being trampled oh, ab upon? Oh, absolutely, because they Let's didn't... Let's channel them. I want well, Alexander Hamilton on the set oh, no, no. right now. Well, no, I'll tell you, we'll bring them all in, okay, and we'll at least two-thirds yeah. of them will be on my side, because I, my side kind of won that debate 200-plus years ago, oh. and I think we ought to be winning it today, because what, what possible value or significance is producing this plate if you're not trying to send a signal this is That's primarily choice. a Christian nobody's country. forcing someone to put a license plates on their car this is just an option I think yeah. isn't there are a bunch of union plates you can have a firefighters plate you can have a veterans plate I'm glad and you this brought is somebody, that up. but this is someone who says you know something I you know I'd like this on my plate and I pay for it yeah, it's no. not the government doesn't pay oh, for no, it no, but the nobody... individual citizen <laughs> pays an extra what four to six dollars yeah, for the plate. maybe but nobody it may not cost them anything extra but the point is there is a process where you go to the DMV and in fact the humanist group in South Carolina went mean, to the a department, group? What's a, department what's a humanist pastor there, uh, well I, I'm not sure that he is a humanist pastor okay, but so kind of nevertheless, this, an oxymoron. There, were, there were several Christian pastors and a rabbi in the Hindu American sounds Foundation like a joke. We got the Hindu, the rabbi and the Christian uh, sounds, filing like, the suit yeah except this is not a joke mm -hmm. this is a really good idea because this is a group of people that understand they don't want to feel like second-class citizens by seeing all these license plates around if they wanted a license plate, the only way they could get it is go to the Department of Motor Vehicles. They would be allowed to have a, a license with the name of their organization and their logo. No right. statements. A, a, an atheist group could not go and get the phrase, I don't believe, because that violates the laws what? of the Maybe they the, should just try to do that. They can't do it. They can't do it by law. This is the how only does, law that was passed, some, Laura. Give me a break. But this I, is about you know what I think was a mistake? Now, you know what? First of all, nobody's going to go to church because of this license plate. You know it and I know it. That's ridiculous. But number two, I do agree with one thing, is that the mm. lieutenant governor made a, uh, made a tactical error in putting up the 4000 bucks to get this thing moving yeah. and then he's going to get reimbursed. I think that that was a mistake. Uh, he could have gotten individuals and other groups to do that. So I will definitely grant you that. Okay. But the point is, is uh, for whether it's school prayer or prayer before a football game or, or any of these issues in God we trust on the coins or Pledge of Allegiance under God, do you understand that 40 years after this whole separation of church and state game began, you guys have helped raise money for conservatives, elect conservatives to Congress, and probably helped elect George Bush in 2004 because this drives people crazy. It the shouldn't. kind of stuff you're doing drives them crazy because they just want to be left crazy. alone. Leave people alone. No. You can, you can no, we, we, support the other my stuff, position. but leave them alone. My position is leave religion alone. If you're in the government, I don't care if you're the governor of South Carolina or in the General Assembly, just leave religion alone. Let people decide but they to have put to their keep bumper stickers. No, they can put their bumper stickers on. They can they can fly a Christian flag off of the flagpole. Not in a state building, you can't. No, no, to you. but on their windshield, if you if you still have one of those really but long antennas.
Senate you, you could do that. But you but, do you do understand that this is is helping Republicans and conservatives and hurting no, the Democratic no, Party. No, I don't believe it does. It, I, first of all, country's eighty percent Christian. Yeah, no one's I know. offended by this except no. groups that are trying to raise money like yours. Uh, no, absolutely not. Although we do raise money and we ought to raise money because this is a fundamental conservative Who's constitutional principle. Everybody who isn't in the majority. In other words, everybody who feels like a second-class citizen because the <laughs> prayer is always Christian or the only license plate you can buy that is specifically religious mm -hmm. is a Christian one. Those people feel like outcasts. They feel like outcasts? outsiders in their own country. Oh, come on, Barry. You got, I'm going to nominate you for an Academy for Award. Okay, you're going to... Okay. So, accepting on behalf of Barry Lynn will be... No. no. Outcasts because yep. of a license plate, they've because got to be of that more. And the prayer and everything they've got else to feel better mentioned. about their own view and their atheism uh, than, than that. But Barry, yeah. we appreciate. I always love having you on. It's great to see Good. you. Good to see, see you on the radio. All right. And in a moment, John McCain is courting Hispanic voters. How will they react to him?